Microsoft's pricing calculator gives us a good idea of how much certain services are going to cost on a monthly basis. I'm logged into azure.microsoft.com, then you can see at the top, forward slash, whatever language you're using, in my case it's en-us, pricing, and then calculator. If you'd like to see how much something's going to cost, you can see on the left-hand side all the different types of services that you can get. The most popular are going to be at the top here with the virtual machines and storage. So I'm going to start with the virtual machine, and then you can see the little calculators popping up, and then you need to click on the view. Here is the most popular server where it includes just the operating system. So you can see at the top, there's the region. The operating system is Windows. The type is going to be just the operating system. And the tier is going to be standard, which is what you get by default, although you can make changes. Now, take a look under virtual machines. You see one times the estimated amount of hours that you're going to use it. If you want, you can change that to days and months as well. You can also change the instance. Let's take a look at what the difference would be if I hit the drop down and choose a different instance. So I'm going to change this to four cores, seven gigs of RAM, and 285 gigs of temporary storage. And just by making that small change, we've now increased the charge to around $262 a month. Now, what if we change the operating system type from operating system only to BizTalk server? Scroll down. Now you're up to $17.95 a month. And if we change this again to SQL server, you're to $13.57 a month. On the left-hand side, you can see the different compute models. This is the compute model A3, and that basically says how much RAM, hard drive, and vCPUs that you're going to have. You can save some money if you would like to change to the one-year savings plan, three-year savings plan. Basically, what this means is you're signing up for an entire year at a time. Now, if you decide to cancel it, you will get a partial refund, but it will be a refund based on month to month if you didn't fulfill your entire commitment to one or three years. I'm going to go back to the previous section and choose storage accounts, another very popular type of way to go. So that will take us down lower on the page. And here we see the default region is going to be the East US, but you can certainly go in and make some changes. So for instance, I'm going to change that to South Central, see if it makes any pricing changes. And sure enough, it changes the capacity of 1000 gigabytes from 150 to $180 a month. And it might be just because it costs more to cool things in that region. Let's go to the West US and it increases even more to 195. If we go to the UK, it goes to 188. So you can see all the different areas that you might choose in order to find out what your price is going to be. Now let's take a look at the type of storage. So you have lots of different types of storage here. The most popular is going to be the block blob storage. You can pretty much just store anything here, but it's not very organized, but that's fine. It's just like using File Explorer and Windows. If you were to use, say, table storage, then that would be something that Microsoft refers to as a service that stores non-relational structured data, also known as NoSQL data. So if you need that type of storage, you can see that the price changes dramatically. And let's go to where it says Manage Disks. And that would have to do with extra storage for Azure Virtual Machines and Azure VMware. Azure has added the ability to add a VMware virtual machine, not just a Hyper-V virtual machine. So you can see the cost goes down a lot. But when you change your provision, so let's go to, say, this one here, then the price goes up dramatically to $500 a month. If you'd like to scroll back up, you can go ahead and choose any one of these other models, and you can take a look and see what the additional cost is going to be based on what it is that you need. The Azure Pricing Calculator isn't always exactly accurate to the bill you receive at the end of the month, but it does give a good estimate to your monthly costs.